Uh, hi, I'm Will. I'm a student. I sell vintage clothing primarily online. Hi, my name is Max Brown, and I'm currently studying media production. I'm Andrew Robson. I'm 23, and I do media production at Lincoln University. I think loads of things make people dress the way they do. Uh, influencers on social media, celebrities, uh, the music they listen to, their friends. Uh, I think it just, it's just, there's no, there's no personality in, in what people wear in as a whole. Um, there's no sense of individualism, it's just all very, very much the same. Um, I think my fashion choices and inspiration has definitely got a lot more mature over the years. Uh, I think I've moved a lot away from heavy branding, uh, moving more towards uh, being inspired by the materials, the cut of the clothes, much more like a granddad sort of style. I don't really dress in a certain way. I go. I, I tend to pick a ident colour. So this, in this instance, red. Um, and then I just build a, an outfit around that. Really. Obviously, black goes with everything. You know, you can ch you can chuck black and green, and it works. But I stick to one main colour and build around that. I used to just wear a white t-shirt and jeans, and it was pretty plain. And then I just kind of started finding, you know, colourful, funky shirts. I just have a fair few and now I kind of still wear the same white t-shirt and jeans but I just kind of put a little colour into it now. Um, I think heavy branding is definitely one again. Um, just buying clothes purely for the brands that are on them. Uh, you know, like Balenciaga tops are just purely just a plain top that says Balenciaga on and paying a ridiculous amount for it when you can get a much better quality top from uh, shops such as like m and where they're much, much cheaper, much better quality, much better looking in my opinion. I like to tell myself that, you know, it's not made in a sweatshop by, you know, uh, a, a poor Indian or Bangladeshi people working out at endlessly hours. But, you know, you, you look at the labels, made in Italy, made in France, uh, it's more ethically sourced than, say, your high street fashion or uh, you, you know, your brands that you find online. So no real perk, and but, I mean, suppose the other perk is that it's wholly unique, you know. They only made less than 100 of these jackets, for instance. Hi, I'm Emma, I'm a media production student and I wear weird clothes. <laughs> Some of my influences um, have been uh, things like Melly Martinez, also Hayley Williams, uh, she's from Band Paramore. She had the half orange pink and half pink hair, uh, that's kind of, got, kind of going on here. I started off um, in sort of an emo stage, um, like I wore a lot of black, uh, a lot of dark colours, I had red hair. But then eventually I decided to get a bit brighter, started with oranges, orange makeup and all that lot um, and then led on to more brighter colours like I went to pinks, uh, pastel colours and then really liked rainbow look and stuff like that and really liked the rainbow colours. So the sort of shops I end up going to is like, some I do have to sometimes go to like weirder shops like there's this really funky shoe shop um, that I go to like um, 
it's like not many people probably know about it but yeah you can't always go to like the mainstream shops like Primark or whatever these are one of the pairs of shoes that I got from the shop that's up steep hill um, there was 155 pounds as you can see they're very uh, colorful fluffy and out there and then these are another pair again 155 pound uh, these do have like little markings on the bottom but they're very scuffed from wearing them but they're very sparkly they have two cans on them and I'm very out there I'll talk to anyone like I'm not shy or anything and I think my clothes sort of show that yeah uh... <laughs> Thank you.